10x, everybody sees the, everybody sees the 10x, right? Plus 10x. And if I add 11, add 11, I'll get plus 3. Hey, that looks familiar. Didn't, who factored that, who factored that one? We've done this one. I did that on purpose, you think? Maybe. 3x, x, plus 1, plus 3, right? And again, you can check for the 10. The 10 comes from the double smiley. There's my 9x, 1x, which makes the 10. But we're not done because we're solving. We're not factoring. We're solving. So we'll have a... Uh, did the film just start all over again? Wow. Okay. So I'll have a 3x plus 1 equals 0 x plus 3 equals 0. Minus 1, minus 1, divide by 3. You okay with that? Right? I mean, we're in pre-calc, right? Subtract 1 divided by 3, and then x equals negative 3. Two answers, right? It started itself over, so I think what I'm going to need to do is get a different thumb drive. I think my thumb drive is getting tired. So today, this is just the way it is, which it's going to bump somebody, but it's not going to be nice. I'll put this one up because the first part of this is pretty easy, right? All right, now turn the back, okay? Okay, so if it won't factor, okay, so let's check this one out. I'll show you. we got a problem. So I bring over the 4x, and we've got a 2x squared minus 4x plus 7 equals 0. And if it won't factor, because it won't, you can try it. You can try lots. I just, I just did, so. Yeah, if you try lots of combinations, it won't factor. So we're going to use our negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus four times a times c all over two a. Okay. Um, a is two. B is negative 4, and C is 7. So all we do is just plug and chug. That's what we used to call it, plug and chug. We're just plug in the numbers. We're going to chug along and get an answer, okay? So negative B. So negative, negative 4, right? I'm going to go negative, negative 4, plus or minus. You know why it's plus or minus? Two answers. Yeah. Square root b squared, which is a negative 4 squared, which is a positive number, minus 4, times a, which is 2, times c, which is 7, all over 2 times 2. Okay, how am I doing? Um, double negative, right? So I get a negative, negative 4, makes a positive 4, plus minus a square root. Okay, negative 4 times negative 4 is a positive 16, okay? Minus 56 over 4. How am I doing? 4 plus or minus the square root of a negative 40. Uh-oh, I think we're going to have a problem. I, I, I do think we're going to have a problem. So we're going to have a square root of a negative number. We can do that. We're going to have to just remember that the square root of negative 1, so right up here just real quickly, square root of negative 1 is I, okay, right? We're going to use that information to, to finish this up. Okay, so let me shoot this up over here. So I'm going to have 4 plus or minus, and I'm going to break this down. Square root of 4, square root of 10, square root of negative 1 over 4, okay? And I'll let you catch up. Here's my 40. 4 times 10, and then I've got my negative 1, okay? And so why did I break it up into 4 and 10? You know, why 4 and 10? Why not 2 and 20? Why 4 and 10? It's, yeah, we can take the square root of it, right? Because you can take the square root of 4, right? Um, so I've got a 4 plus or minus 2 squared to 10 i over 4, which is going to be a 4 plus or minus 1 half squared to 10. Oh, 1 squared to 10 i. There we go. Okay, I didn't give a lot, right? Two, 1, 2, 3, 4, 11, and 14. The extra is 16. 
Um, we'll do two days of this. Um, I'll get you.